Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to today's edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys swinging by the channel, checking out the video. Always uh, very grateful for that. And guys, today I'm going to talk about some doctor inform or some doctor news I got from the couple doctors appointment I went to and I wanted to do this and share this with you guys cuz it's sort of pertinent to being an angler. It might affect you guys down the road, so we're going to get into that in today's video. I'm also guys just wanted to extend a big thank you to everybody out there that's been hitting that subscribe button here to Intuitive Angling lately. We've had some really good channel growth over the past couple months, so I'd like to invite everybody that hadn't subscribed to consider subscribing. And also a massive big thank you to everybody that's using my tackle warehouse link that I put in the description of every video for your fishing tackle purchases. Guys, by using that link and bookmarking that link, um, it's really helping me and my family out, so thank you very much for that. Okay, guys, a couple different things. I've had two different doctor type appointments here. Um, I had one with my back and I had one with the dermatologist. I wanted to pass this along to you guys. Um, about three months ago, when I was in the gym doing a back squat, I hurt my lower back. It's like, I don't know if you guys have spent much time in the gym lifting, but that's sort of part of it. You know, you get injured occasionally, but felt something tweak, you know, it wasn't right, and it just would not get better. And I literally, in the morning, I had to roll out of bed. I, I was not getting any sleep. It's like, you know, I couldn't get comfortable. Um, it just was debilitating, this back injury. So finally, after a couple months, I went to the orthopedic doctor with that. He did x-rays and everything and came back and said that I had, you know, some uh, curvature in my lower spine, some disc degeneration, a little bit of arthritis back there. A lot of it from being in a bass boat in rough water for 50 years. And uh, that's what I want to talk about a little bit before, before I get in the dermatologist here. Guys, one of the things that you've heard me talk about on this channel is slowing down in rough water, which I have my whole life. I've always fished super, I've, I've always tried to uh, run as slow as I can because I've been very aware of my back because so many people out there, pros, when they get into their 50s, you see them all, they're all hunched over like this. They can't even stand up straight because they've driven like a nut job in a bass boat for 30 or 40 years. So I've always like rode on my knee. I've taken great care to try to take pressure off my back. I've stretched, done yoga, that type of stuff. Real, one second, guys, I gotta get this text. Kim just texted me. Sorry about that, guys. I had to, saw a text come across the uh, screen there from, from Kim, so I had to get that. But anyway, guys, um, so I've back to the, the driving in the rough water, I've always taken great care to make sure that I kept my back in good shape because I didn't want to fall into the same rut as a lot of people do out there. But even though as much cautious caution as I've, I've taken as far as, you know, trying to slow down in rough water, stretching, working out, going to the gym, I've still got, you know, back issues from, you know, being in a boat for so many years out there. So the one of the things I wanted to reiterate to you guys is be very aware if you guys drive a boat especially you guys that drive a boat in rough water be very aware that you're going to pay the price for it i mean somebody like myself that has taken an extra caution to try to be careful with that but inevitably i've been in a boat for so many decades out there that you just can't escape that so um, if you don't want to wind up with some type of back issue when you get older, one of the best things that you can do, guys, is just, like I said, slow down as much as you can. Don't hit those waves hard. And, uh, you know, just realize that you're going to suffer as you get older as a result of that if you don't take care of it. Um, second thing, guys, is I finally went to a dermatologist. I've had a lot of people tell me, oh, Randy, can't believe you're not using sunscreen. You're going to have problems. I do use sunscreen. I've used sunscreen forever but I've never been to the dermatologist other than just having my regular doctor check my skin out. So I went to the dermatologist today, got checked out, and I was really surprised. He said that, you know, I didn't have any major issues. You know, I had some, some precancerous sun pl places on my hands, which most people do my age has been out in the sun, so they froze those off there. But that's another thing that I wanted to talk about with guys. If you're one of those people out there that are in the sun a lot, you know, take some precautions with that. Use that sunscreen, try to use sun protection. I, one of the things I know when you're younger, like I was, you want, it, it's like, and it's, it's probably not as much now, but back when I was growing up in the seventies, everybody wanted a tan. 
So you're always out there trying to get a tan and inevitably you're going to suffer the consequences of that as well. Um, so, you know, a lot of it has to do with your complexion. I'm, I'm not like, you know, I'm average complexion. I'm not like a fair complexion. Most people that have fair, fair complexions really have to be cautious. Um, it seems like a lot of people that have skin cancer issues, a lot of them are really fair complected, you know, light skin uh, color type people. So if you're one of those people, just take extra precautions out there because if, if you fish for years and years and years, um, all the stuff is gonna start adding up with that. So I just wanted to pass that along with you guys. Actually, it's, you know, you know it's, I, I got some pretty good news from the doctor. I didn't have any major situations going on. I really thought that I probably would. I mean, as much as, like I said, as, if you guys would have been in the boat with me for decades like I've been in there and, and the pounding that I've taken in a boat, even though trying to be careful and the amount of sun exposure I've had, I really looked, I really anticipated it being worse than it was, but I was fortunate that it wasn't. But the main point of the video, guys, is just be careful. Just watch yourself with that. Take care of yourself out there. And um, as you get older, you know, you're going to be uh, grateful that you did. So hope you guys are well. We'll talk later.